All right, so here's what I did. I took two of these uh, one foot boards that I cut out of the other block of Tupelo. And I put box joint uh, cuts in two of them, much like this one. And when I did that, this might be a little hard to see, I put the two box joints together and I made one long hearthboard. So, uh, supposedly, uh, Tupelo is a Jonka of 800. Now, I have to tell you, um, when they do a Jonka hardness test on woods, you're usually doing the heartwood. But I have to tell you, this is like really soft and light. Um, I'm wondering if this is sapwood. And uh, I also wonder if where these sections of wood came from, the tree uh, might have been down for a while. It's hard to say because I'm not familiar with Tupelo. But here I have a board of sycamore. And sycamore is a jonka of 770. And I have to tell you, this is feels much harder and much heavier than this does. I mean, this actually feels lighter than the western red cedar that i use for boards and the western red cedar is 350 and this feels lighter than that so i have to tell you i don't think i'm working with tupelo at a jonka of 800 i think it's unfair to say scientifically that that that's really a challenge in that sense um because it's i have to tell you it's not even close to the density of this piece of sycamore, which is supposed to be less than Tupelo. This is really, really light. Here's a closer look at the box joint. All right, so um, out of one of the boards, I made some reloads. They're 5 8 inch in diameter. And I got my bamboo... Uh, mouth drill spindle and I have a reload in there of Tupelo and I'm going to get my uh, pressure mouth brace and we're gonna light this up all right be right back all right so we're gonna test uh, our Tupelo reload with our Tupelo hearth board now uh, when it comes to a pressure mouth brace uh, in my opinion, there's really there's really two kinds. There's the one you can put your back teeth on. So what you'll do is you'll take a paper towel, right? and because uh, you don't want to bite directly on the wood, you put the paper towel over the bite plate. This one's made of bamboo. This is my personal pressure mouth brace, and then it'll go on your back teeth. Like that, held in place. The other version I, is uh, easier to make is if you took uh, a round branch about an inch in diameter and you cut it uh, two thirds uh, down down through the branch so that you're cutting off a third and you put a hole on the flat side of the branch you just cut. And how this works is your cheeks keep the pressure mouth brace from going farther. So uh, put a paper towel again. And this won't push back. Plus you're, you're biting down on it a little bit. But your, your cheeks keep it from going anywhere. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the, the branch version, not the bite plate one. And as you can see, this board has never been used. Okay. This is the first time. This reload has never been used. So it has to meet together in the uh, 
try to light it up. All right, so here, here we go. I, I can't exactly talk while I'm doing that, obviously. There we go. There's our Tupelo mouth drill. And as you can see, that was fairly easy to do. And a good portion of that had to do with the fact that the density of this wood is very, very light. It's, I, it's not even close to being 800 as a jogger. So, all right, if you have any questions, Fire Dojo is here for you. And uh, thanks for watching.